Is it possible that you may go to hell? By James Smith in the year 1856. God tells us in the Bible, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, which is hell, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, which is heaven, and only a few find it. Now let me ask you a very important question. I do so in love. It is a solemn and simple question, but please do not be offended at its simplicity. Receive it, consider it, and reflect upon it. Do you believe it is possible that you may go to hell? That many, the multitude go to hell, cannot be doubted. That hell is a dreadful place cannot be questioned. That many, the multitude, are now on the road to hell is as clear as daylight. That the few are sufficiently concerned to escape from hell is very evident. Do you believe it is possible that you may go to hell? You who perhaps never entertained a thought of doing so? The very possibility is alarming, is it not? The Bible says sinners go to hell. Are you a sinner? If sinners go to hell and you are a sinner, why then would you think that you will not go there? Is it not a possibility? Yes, it is not only possible, but certain that you will go to hell unless you experience a very great change in your life. For unless a man or a woman is born again, they cannot enter into the kingdom of God, into heaven. How many today live their lives being careless and thoughtless and indifferent about their souls, as if they thought it was impossible for them to go into hell. There is John Jones, the weaver. He has read the New Testament. He has heard the gospel. He knows that he has an immortal soul, but he never prays and very often spends his Saturday nights at the local bar. And he lies in bed late on Sunday mornings. Week after week, he goes on like this. He has no concern for his soul or the souls of his wife and children. He knows that he must die. He professes to believe in heaven and hell, but he acts just as though he never thought for one moment that it was possible for him to go to hell. He troubles himself so little about God or his soul or eternity that it appears that the thought has never entered into his mind. Roger Thomas, the blacksmith, knows all the news of the village. He talks a lot. He reads some, but he swears often. He loves his pipe and he loves his beer. He goes to church now and then on Sunday, but if you note his conduct, listen to his conversation, and notice his spirit, you will be led to conclude that he never asks himself the question, Is it possible? for me to be sent to hell. No, he has too good of an opinion of himself to even suppose such a thing. He has no idea that God would ever treat him so harshly as that. What? Send him to hell? No, no, he says, God is merciful. He intends to repent in the future. When he comes to his deathbed, then he will pray. Then he will read his Bible and make peace with God. Thus he flatters his own pride, he deceives his own soul, and secures his own damnation. Dear listener, do you believe it is possible that you may go to hell? Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, 
Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day of judgment, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Then the Lord will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Amen.